What's up? So I saw the singer Akon on Vlad TV talking about how African Americans should get over slavery or something. And he grew up in Africa and he came over here. And I'm like, where do you get off speaking about something that you know not enough of? You still kept your native tongue, you kept your voice, you kept your name, you kept your language, etc. There is a difference between African and African American, which has been commonly established. However, people who don't know what the experience has been like here in the States need to shut up. They don't understand the depths of the slavery magnitude. Yes, Africans had a hand in bringing us, putting us over. But no one asked for Jim Crow. No one asked for legalized segregation and separatism. When idiots like Akon, and I'm calling him an idiot for this one, he's a smart businessman, what he's done. He had a hand in Lady Gaga. He had a successful career, and of course, he helped out with T-Pain. He did quite well for himself. But when he makes idiotic remarks, I got to call him out on it. I'm like, yo, they still got slave masters on these dollar bills that you see, which they're giving names. They still have racist Confederate statues, which they endorse. They still poison children's minds. If you were a kid growing up a certain time all the way through now, they still talk about a history that doesn't include. But yet they benefited off of African-Americans' backs. Built buildings, built homes, plantations, stuff, etc. is still around as a reminder. So how do you get over something when it's a daily occurrence in everything that's said and done? Everything. You get races like Donald Trump who spews off hate all the time. You got police who are channeling and killing black folks all the time. That's why they need to be defunded. That's why when you talk systematic and institutionalized racism, from school buildings to penitentiaries, it's there. So don't tell somebody they need to go over something. No one tells Jews to get over the Holocaust and best believe they're going to come at you and tell you about Anne Franks will make you feel sorry. And it is jacked up how everything went down. But no more than black folks went through. Black folks built this country. Black folks have still been paying the price. No checks cut. No sorries. No apologies. And it wasn't for George Floyd getting his neck stepped and cracked on. And Breonna Taylor still in justice. We don't hardly have nothing. Because it's still a, a reflection of new. If you don't speak out on the past, you'll never get to your future. And that's what Akon because he's got somebody holding a bag from got a white dude on Hollywood on the plantation saying, you're a good boy, bring me the bag, you be good. But come on, man. You can't tell black people in America to get over something that has a lasting effect when you've had your tongue, your native blood all taken from you and auctioned off in a country that has a mental illness where institutionalized and systematic racism is alive and well and has never gone nowhere, and you're still fighting. You can't get over because you can't be progressive in a place that doesn't accept you in this number, but yet you're cut between here. And as far as black folks getting to Africa, we should be able to go to the motherland and see the everything. But having said that as well, where is our home? Because we're divided into two multiple places, and neither one has fully welcomed us fully. And when I say welcome fully, I'm talking about having equal privilege. Not because you have to get rich or people feel like they kiss up to you and, and applaud you because you got some money and some statues. I'm talking about as a human being. Yeah, that's my message to Akon. So that's my take about Akon making that foolery remark about African Americans getting over slavery because he sounds like an idiot. He's a smart dude for the most part. But I'm going to tell you something. Don't pop off and think that that's going to be crack when you know good and well the reason why the business put you where you were, because they typecast you as a black artist in an industry. And they deal with you as such. They're not dealing with you on equal footing. So who's he kidding? All right, that's my thoughts and takes about Akon's foolery comments about African Americans needing to get over slavery. Hit me, hit that like, hit, the, uh, hit that bell when the bell rings a new video. Let's discuss this. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for one another. And don't have somebody who ain't been through the struggle trying to tell you what's up. Because they don't have a clue and they need to be enlightened before they open up their mouth. I don't care who you are. I'm out.